This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Sarah's in Salt Lake City. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Hi, how are you guys? Better than we deserve. What's up? How can we help? So question first, and then I have some more background information, but my husband, who's 28, and myself, who's 27, we bought a $476,000 two-bed, two-bath condo in 2022, and we're now looking to start a family, so hopefully we'll be growing out of it sooner than we expected. Um, My question is, how should we tackle the mortgage in our particular situation? Should we be solely focused on paying off the mortgage or should we focus on other wealth building? Do you have any other other debt? Yes, we have no personal debt, but we have two mortgages, the condo, and then another mortgage for an investment property that we have renters in. Mm. Okay. And how much is the payment on the investment property? About sixteen. Hundred and how much is the rent on the investment property? Sixteen fifty. You should sell the investment property. You are losing money. That's shocking. <laughs> Why is it shocking? A fifty dollar cash flow is not a cash flow on a rental property. You should know that. Well, yeah, and I understand that, but it's more of a. Um, You're losing money. Why would you have an investment that loses money? The. Because in the future, it will hopefully make us money. Okay. The people that do that on real estate are the people that go broke doing real estate. So okay. um, you're, 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 you have created an, uh, a destabilizing, high-risk situation in your life with that investment property. I own mm-hmm. several hundred million dollars worth of real estate. I love real estate. I have a degree in real estate. I've been doing real estate since 1978. I went broke in the real estate business in the 80s. I, I've done it all on real estate, Sarah. I, I'm a huge fan of real estate, but you've been sold a lie that the future gains in value are worth the risk that you all are taking and how much this is upsetting your current budget situation because this house is costing you probably five or $6,000 a year out of pocket minimum. Mm-hmm by the time in cash flow. Meanwhile, you're waiting on it to go up in value, and, uh, and and then you're calling about how to cancel the mortgage on the other side. The way to cancel the mortgage on the other side is to get rid of your negative cash flowing rental property because by the time you have vacancy, legal expenses, and repairs, you're losing your butt on that rental property. One emergency away. From yeah, I mean, it's, it's tank you know, $1,4500 heating and air unit, you know, and you're just, you're baked. So, um That's what I would do. I'd get rid of that. As far as the current property that you're in, if you want to get rid of the mortgage on it, that's fine. Start paying the mortgage down uh, out of your income. Uh, And then when you are ready to sell it, to move to a different property because your family situation changes, then I would sell it. But right today, you don't have to worry about that because you're, you know, it's just in the future, we're going to have a family. And I Googled it, Dave. Babies can live in condos, turns out. So you'll be okay in the (laughs) You mean Google said that? Google said it. It told me. And if so, Google said it, then you don't need a whole lot of room to just put a crib in there, a little bassinet. The baby will be okay. It won't know the difference for the first five years of its life. Says the father of a four month old. There you go. There I speak go. from experience now, Dave, yes, as a new do. dad. Yes, you do. They don't take up much room. They're, They're so fairly tiny. small. Yeah. My dogs take up more room than they Your do. Your dogs take up a lot. Of room. On they the take bed. up emotional bandwidth, too. But yeah. Living in my hand rent, rent-free, Dave, <laughs> and very expensive to boot. Yeah, Sarah, all real estate is not good. Only real estate that is paid for and is not causing you problems financially is good, and your property is not a good property. You're in a bad situation with it. I can't stress that enough. Um, I know that's bursting your bubble that you read somewhere that caused you guys to do this horrible deal, but... That's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm I'm not a dream killer. I'm a nightmare preventer. Ooh, I like that. There's a difference. There's a difference. I don't believe in killing people's dreams, but if I can kill your nightmare, I will. Mm. And I've, I've owned that piece of property that she owns just like that, and it is 
You're playing Russian roulette with your checkbook. I bet during this show we'll take a call from someone on the other side who's been there, who says, Dave, I have to get rid of this property. We're underwater on this thing. We had an emergency, and so we just don't want that for you. Yeah. It's, you know, we, you know, everything was fine, and we got laid off. Until it didn't uh. work out on paper. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about how to plan for retirement, visit RamseySolutions.com slash retire or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.